Hey, 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 hey. All the single ladies. All the single ladies. Are you a single lady? No. No? No. No. Because he liked it and he put a ring on it. He liked it and he put a ring on it. Something, 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 something. I don't, I don't know. All right. Hey, it's it's uh, our our Beyonce article, part two. Part dos. dos. Two. Two. All right. What, All right. What do we need? All right. So we're talking about Beyonce. Yes. Hopefully you you saw our uh, our first video. We, we tackled five questions. We're going to try to do a few more questions because I think it's worth doing. Yes. You think so too? I agree. This is Miss Rogers, the literacy coach. She's got a ring on it. Okay. okay. Let's do this. All right. So, so wait, wait. I think we should review. Is I think we should say? review. I think so too. We should too. review the steps. Okay. Do not read the entire article if you're not if if you're taking a a reading test. So you have a passage and then you've got multiple choice questions. Mm -hmm. Do not read it first. Read the questions. Question. Read the questions first. Step one. Okay. Okay. Then what do you do after you read you the questions? You don't look at the answers. Don't look at the answers. Okay. And then you look at the first question. I think you look at the first question. Yeah. Yeah. The first Go back question. To the first question. First question. Um, with that question in mind, then go back to the passage and read it carefully, right? Read it carefully. The whole thing. The whole thing carefully. Yes. Read the whole thing. But as you're reading carefully, you are looking for the answer to that one question and Correct. hopefully learning more about what the, the whole topic is about. Yes. 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 Is that, yeah. And then, and then, so then we can go back to the, that first question right. and read in the order of a, B, C, D? No. Nope. D, C, B, A. Correct. D, C, B, A. Backwards. For whatever reason, it's easier to find the correct answer going backwards. Well, because if you read A, mm -hmm. and A is that possible answer, mm -hmm. and you feel nervous, you're going to like, oh, whew, I found it. Move on. Oh. We don't want to move on. We want to. So you're more likely to, to look at every question. Correct. Consider everything, right? And how many... Um, how many good answers are there usually? I mean, there's one correct answer, but two, two that there's are. Well, two there's that, one that's that that you could argue for, but but ultimately, in the end, one that's the best one question, is the best answer, and one is it could be, but this one's better. Make sense? Got it. Got it. Okay. All right. So we are going to look at the questions that we did not do the in, in our last video. So, okay. Um, by the way, this is a different order. If you if you looked at the the video before, the 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 system that I use um, uh, comes up with the questions in a different order every time. So so we wrote down which ones we've already done. We've already done number one. So we're going to look at number two. Okay. Number two says, do you want to read it? Which of the following? Oh, what of the following? Oh. That's terrible. Terrible. I did what that. What of the following? Which, of the, Which of the following best describes Beyonce's husband's occupation? There's a lot of uh, possess, Apostor, possession yeah. in there, right? Yes. So Beyonce has a husband, husband and, and husband what's has his an job? Occupation, his job. Correct. Okay. So. All right. Wait, so, don't look at the answers. I'm not looking. My oh, eyes are closed. I didn't see. I didn't see. Okay. I know his name. His Do you know? Isn't it Jay Z? It is Jay Z. Okay. Yes. So useful and, knowledge. And I and I'm pretty sure I know what Jay Z does. Right. I think I'm not looking at it. See, my eyes are closed. Yeah. Okay. And, and and by the way, I should say this: a lot of you probably are familiar with Beyonce, and you could you could actually answer a lot of these questions without even reading the article. Sure. But. What are you going to do if you're reading an article and you're totally unfamiliar? Here's my with, own knowledge. With the person. Mm -hmm. I know that Jay-Z mm -hmm. used to, or maybe he still does. Maybe mm -hmm. he's, a, he's a rapper. Mm -hmm. Like, he likes presents and he gifts wraps them. Right? <laughs> oh, no. I'm just kidding. That's W-R-A-P. Yes. No, he's a... Right. Right. But we're going to um, look... We're going to actually defend your answer from the article. Right. But right? I also think he has a second job. Does he? I heard that he's like a shoe designer or he doesn't he design Possibly. some other. Possibly. That's what I don't know. Like okay. maybe he doesn't. Right. Maybe. Uh, maybe he's not a rap star anymore. Maybe he at, at Christmas time, he, he acts like an elf, you know, in the shopping mall next to Santa. I you don't never know. know. So right. we've got to go back to That's the article. True. That's true. Okay. So we're looking for Beyonce's husband's, husband's job. 
uh, first paragraph, skim, that's what she does. There's a quote from her second paragraph. Many people talk about her energy. So that's about her still. Okay, let's go to the fast facts. Let's see. Do I see the word husband? But I don't see husband. No. Oh, I see in 2008, she marries. marries. And here's what I know about the word marry. Okay. When you marry someone, there's usually a husband or a wife involved, right? So right. she marries rapper, rapper Jay-Z. Rapper Jay-Z. Okay. Is that his name, rapper Jay-Z? No, his name is Jay-Z. But that's, so it's, they're telling us what his job is. Right. He's a rapper. He's a rapper. But I don't see anything else in there about any other jobs he might do. Right. And I don't see Jay-Z anywhere else. Let okay. skim up here. No, no, we didn't see that. All Let's... right. So I think we may have found the answer. Let's see. Oh, I'm going DCBA, a rap star. Okay. I'm put it there for now. A hurricane victim. No. Now, how are they trying to trick us with a hurricane victim? Do you remember? Well, yeah, because Beyonce helps out. Mm-hmm. There hurricanes. it is. She doesn't, right? Yeah. Beyonce starts an organization to help oh, hurricane yeah. victims, right? Um, an actor. She's an actor. That's right. She was in. Right. That MTV uh, hip uh, show. A hip opera. A hip opera. Hip, uh, I want to see hip, a hip hop. Hip hop. Hip hop. Hip hop. The oh. hippity hop. Okay, yeah, sorry. Right. I like yeah. to watch that too. And I want to watch your commercial. Um, and a historian, I don't believe so. They talk about the history because of the facts, but she's not a historian. Uh, That's right. the. I feel like there's not even. I mean, if you're going to argue that there's a second best one, maybe the hurricane. No, uh, no, an I, actor because all, he, she acted. Maybe he acted. Uh, but they, they all seem pretty terrible. Right. So this Back one, star. I think, is is pretty easy. Obvious. All right. Now this one, I don't I think don't you're going to. Well, okay. Let, well, yeah, I know it's a lot of arrows. Right. Uh, you're not going to see a question quite like this on Azella or on um, AZ, AZ Merit. Merit right. Uh, but th- what they want us to do is put everything in order. Oh, OK. Right? okay. So um, maybe we should read them backwards first. Okay? Okay. So she performs at a U.S. president's inauguration. So wait, wait, pause. Hmm. Yes. All of these are true. Yes. OK. Yes. Right? So we just need the history. Mm-hmm. And we have to put everything in order. Got from, it. From from first to last. First to last. Okay. Uh, she has a baby. Okay. She helps hurricane victims. She is born in Texas. That's that's got to be first. That's got to be first. But let's keep reading, right? Okay. She, she wins five Grammys before she was born. No. Um, her group gets its first recording contract. She acts in a movie. She releases she releases her first solo album. Wow, right. that's so a lot. I agree lot. with you. Okay. Um, so how she do has we a baby. Move she is born. Okay, so I'm going to keep so you it up. Click, I know, it's kind of annoying, isn't it? All right, she, you have click. to click that one arrow to it goes to the top. Okay. There we go. All so right. after she's born. Let me go back up here. She's yes, born. She's born. Her group, her girl group. Oh, can you explain something to me? Yes. Okay, it says her girl group. And then, then you've got this comma. Yes. And then Destiny's Child. Yes. And then you've got another comma. Yes. Gets its first recording contract. What's with the commas? Okay. Mm. So really, you could take out the words Destiny's Child and it would still be sentence. Her girl right? group. Right? Her girl group gets its first recording tract- oh, contract. Okay. So when you have that information in commas, mm-hmm. it's going to give you additional information. So what do you uh, think? It, since Destiny's Child is coming right after the word group, what hint do you think it's giving? Is it the name of the group? It's the name of her group. Oh. Destiny's Child is and the name of And that's why they have group. the two commas. Correct. So actually, I can, I can, uh, you can't see this, but I can cover up Destiny's Child. I've still got a, a whole sentence, but yes. if I include Destiny's Child with the commas. We get more information. We get more information. More details. Is that better than um, she has a group called Destiny's Child, period. The group gets its first recording contract. It's, mm-hmm. it's, it's a, it seems more sophisticated. Yeah, I would think? say so. Right. So it's better writing. It is better writing. And I think, I think I could learn that. Well, what's that, what's that called in grammar when you put a, that in there? A negative? No, no, no. It's in a positive. In a positive. In a positive. Got it. Yeah. In a positive. It's in a positive. Because you're a positively adding more details. Yes. 
positively. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, so was there anything so where about were that? we? We were talking about the, the group. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Her group it? gets its first recording contract. There we go. All right. So move that on. one up we're moving in on place up. two. Okay. Okay. So after she gets her recording contract, all right. Beyonce experiences her first time acting. That was one. Okay. She stars in. There was just something about acting down here. Yeah, she acts in a movie. She acts in a movie. Mm -hmm. So down here it doesn't say she acts in. Um, something on MTV, right? She stars in something, right? Correct. So they're really just using other words. They are. Oh, it seems like they do that a lot in these. Oh, they these do. Tests. They do. That's what I've noticed. Okay. Um, and then she releases her first solo album. Ah. Oh, it's already there. Word for word. And it's there. I don't need to move it up. Nope. Okay. And then after she releases her solo, she wins five Grammys. Five I think Grammys. that's how it was. Let's see. Yes. She wins five Grammys. Okay. She helps hurricane victims. What's after five Grammys? She's hurricane, hurricane victims. That's, we are lucky. That is crazy. We don't right. do any of this. She has a baby. She All right. Performs. What happens first? Does she have a baby first or does she perform for the president? Baby and then president. Look at 2012. She has a baby, a daughter. She has a daughter and names her Blue Ivy. So yes. it sounds like she had a baby. Yes. All right. And then she performs at the uh, U.S. President's inauguration. Yep. So it's an order. That's so weird. You want to hear another fun fact? Yes, please. About me? Yes. Did you perform for the president? I did. No. I did. Which president? George Bush, the first one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Your phone's going off. That's right. Oh, I turned it off. I know. That was very rude of me. No, I was, I didn't perform solo. I was in a marching band mm -hmm. in high school. What did and you play? I played clarinet at oh, the nice. time. Nice. Yes. And then I moved to percussion because that's cooler. Yeah. Right. Um, and then we marched in the inaugural parade that's for so the fun. first George Bush. So you actually saw George Bush? With your well, no, eyes. I was playing, but I was looking like this, like out of the yeah, side. And I, I was like, he's in this teeny tiny window up there. Right. Yeah. That's amazing. It, yeah. Now you know more about me. I, I, I learned get, so much. Let's get back to the test. All right. So we, okay. we, we did number four the other day. We did. Um, all right. What was the name of Beyonce's group? Hey, I, I think I still remember. Okay. From from your your lesson about a positives, um, Blue Ivy I'm is the name of her daughter, right? And in fact, I can locate that yep. somewhere, right? She names always her daughter. Always back it up from the text. Always. Wow, where was that? She named right her there. Daughter. Oh, I'm pointing, but you you're pointing. Can't oh, see. she has a daughter right there, right? 2012. 2012. All right, so that's not the, the name of her group. Formation, Formation was the name of a song, but I don't remember. Beyonce performs her song Formation. Ah, right? yes. Okay. All right. Sasha, uh, Sasha Fierce. Fierce. I have no idea what Sasha Fierce is. Oh, I don't remember reading that at all. Uh, I am Sasha Fierce. Wait, so read the whole sentence. For her she own wins song. six Grammys at the Grammy Awards for her album, I Am Sasha Fierce. All right. Okay. So, and Destiny's Child. Destiny's goes Child. To and, and, and let me just double check. Yes. All right, with that a positive. Her girl group, Destiny's Child. 1996. Yeah. It's a group. There we go. Beyonce's group. Okay, right, click it, it. All right. It's, it has been clicked. We did this one, right? Um, she was yes. 15, I think. Okay. Um, we, we did we that did one. We did this one. Wait, which one was it? Oh, that, she's designed design clothes. And yes. I remember that from the very first sentence, right? Right. Clothing, Clothing designer. designer. So she's mm -hmm. designed clothes. Okay. So now we're on uh, the first album. Didn't we do that? Can we do number eight? Yes, it says on our notes. Oh, skip we did. Eight. Okay, skip it. All right. Okay. Beyonce song. Well, it's not Beyonce. Beyonce. No. Jay Z, Jay -Z. my husband. Jay Z, put think, a ring on it. Jay Z. <laughs> no. Do you, Do you think um, the people that make these questions sometimes they're desperate for <laughs> false answers? <laughs> yes. Yes, I think because so. Because I was when I did this one. <laughs> Okay. okay. So Jay Z is her husband. Correct. Right. Beyonce is her name. Formation, I think I remember, but I'm, I'm going to show you where that is. Okay. Blue Ivy, I think, is her daughter, right? Yes. Okay. But let it's got to be formation. Uh, let me just prove it to the boys and girls at home, okay? Okay. Uh, Beyonce performs her song. Formation. formation. Her what? Her, her song. song formation. formation. I haven't heard Formation. I don't know. No. No. I don't think I'm going to listen to it either, to be honest. I TB, TBH, TBH. 
Do you know TBH? No, to, to be, be honest. honest. To be okay. Honest. Okay. The main Ooh, I, oh. This is a big one. I feel like every single one of these questions, or these passages has a main idea. And not just in this, mm -hmm. in science, yes. in history, yes. in English, yes. on the AC Merit. Yes. Pop quiz yes. for the teacher. Okay. The question says, what is the main idea of the article? Yes. Do you know other words that can be used instead of main idea? What's a synonym that they use for main idea sometimes on a test? Main point. Uh, Does it, it's not main. Uh, theme? Sometimes it's theme if it's literature. I feel like like they'll ask you to summarize, right? What's um, the whole thing about? But, they're, but you're looking for a word. I'm looking for a word. Instead of main idea, it is the central idea. Central idea. So in the AZ Merit, they use the word central. See, like high school. Central high school is kind of in the middle of Phoenix, right? Right. Right. So, so cent the center. The, the central idea. Central. The center. The what did I say? The central <laughs> idea. The central. What is the central idea of the article? Okay, so the central idea, um, like Central Phoenix is kind of a, or Central Phoenix is the middle of Phoenix, right? Mm -hmm. Central high schools and the center of phoenix so would i find the the central idea in the center of the passage no no where do, where do main I mm -hmm. and central are synonyms okay for test taking okay okay so it's the main idea it's mm -hmm. the if you had okay ready mm -hmm. you, we're walking it we're walking between classes outside okay. and you had 10 seconds before you were late to class. Oh boy. And you said, hey, that paragraph is about, or that article is about, boom. Um, you have to be able to tell it really Be quickly. Beyonce had a daughter named Blue Ivy. No, that's a detail. She was in a hip hop or a... No, that's a detail. That's a detail. Something general. She general. helped hurricane victims. Um, no. Because it's not all about those things. It's not all about those things. Beyonce is really rich and famous. I mean, just, I don't know if it talks about her being rich. I would assume she's rich. She's famous. And, right. And um, she's made all her dreams come true. Maybe. We don't, we don't done, know that, but we can, Im that's, Im that could be implied. That's true. That's true. Maybe she has other dreams. Maybe we should read the answers and, and, and right. look. Should we? Okay. All right. And I was thinking the main idea is usually found somewhere. Well, let's. Make, should, should we look at the answer first? We should look okay, at we'll the do answers. that. All right. All right. Beyonce chose an unusual. I'm going DCBA, by the Correct. way. Correct. Beyonce chose an unusual name for her daughter. That's a detail. That's not right. a main idea. Beyonce started an organization to help hurricane victims. That's also a detail. Beyonce is the world's most successful female musician. Hmm. Mark that one for now. All right. And let's go to A. We're not locking it in. No. Beyonce was nervous when she sang at the president's inauguration. We could assume that, but that wasn't said. I didn't even say that. That's not even a detail. No, but you could you I, could I, infer that she would be nervous. Not Beyonce. I don't think she ever gets nervous. Oh, performers get nervous? Not Beyonce. Okay. But these all seem like details. They right, do, So Beyonce except... is the world's most successful female musician. You did see that somewhere, didn't you? feel like I you did keep going keep like going the to the top, top. Uh -huh. the title the title the title says it all it does and honestly read the titles especially in poetry hmm but for every article you need to read the title it's going to give you a good like hint. when you go to the movies yeah you can sometimes you can guess what the movie's about based on the title absolutely like spider-man is about an arachnid who has eight legs. An arachnid. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> a spider. A man who's also a spider. A right? It's about that character, right? So the, the main idea of that movie. I was thinking Lion King because, you know, the That's, lion. And he's also a king. Oh, I just can't. Sorry. Wait. To Wait for be king. Akuna Matara. Do you know what that means? Have a wonderful But do you know what that means? Life. No what? worries. No, no worries. worries. In what language? I don't know. Swahili. Oh, look yeah. at that. Yeah. In Swahili. Yeah. And then isn't there a, a character named Rafiki? Yes. That means friend in 
Swahili. Mm -hmm. That's good to know. And then, do you know how to say lion in Swahili? No. Simba. <gasps> Shut up. I'm I serious. have no idea. Yeah. Gosh. The literacy coach learned something. I today. did. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so back to the All titles. Right. Read the okay. titles. They're so very the title important. is The World's Most Powerful Female, female musician. musician. Correct. And I, I like what you said. I, I think that's really wise, right? If, you, if you're telling someone else what something's about, it takes two, or it takes 10 seconds. Maybe, yes. Right. It's like if, uh, if I tell you, Hey, I saw this movie, uh, called Titanic. Mm -hmm. Titanic's probably what, two and a half hours, three hours long. Yes. Right. It shouldn't take me three hours to describe the whole movie. Right. Correct. I think you would run out of patience with me really quickly. Yes. We don't need details. Right. Do you need me to sing the Titanic song? Yes. Every night in my dreams, I see you, I feel Cut, it. cut. Back to Beyonce. We should have we, more questions. Should we go on? Okay, we'll go on. Let's go on. I don't know where we were. Where were we? Oh, 11. Oh, by the way, so she was... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so these we, are all details. We got it. Number 10, right? Details, details, details. Main idea. And it, it, by the way, it does seem like in these main idea questions... All the wrong answers are just details. All of them are, are found in the article, but it's not what the whole thing's about. Which one of these is, is not, not like, like the, the other. other? So they're all details except that one. Okay. Yep. All right. Here's Next. a tricky one. Tricky, tricky. I bet I How can many, do it. I, I bet I can do it faster. Oh, okay. okay. All right. How many Grammys has Beyonce won according to the article? All right. Quick, all right. Quick. All right. Ready? I Go. see the number. I found it. I found five. it. Five. Six. No, I saw five. I'm right. It's Wait, six. Look, stop. In no, no, 2004. You don't, know anything. you don't know anything. You just think you do. Read. Because you wear glasses. Those are probably read. fake glasses. Fake, In 2004. Fake she wins six Grammys. She, no. Six Can Grammys. Can you go to 2004, please? That's under you, 2010. You do, it. you do it. Fine. Look, I'm reading. Okay. She wins. I can't do this. Oh, there. Okay. there, <laughs> there. You go. Five Grammys. 2004. She wins five Grammys at the Grammy Awards. Okay. Wait, wait, so but you're what? Not, you're not quite right because, look, she wins six Grammys. So she won six after she won five. So I guess it would be six. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm not very good at math. Oh. What is five oh. plus six? Here's what I found. Oh, man. Okay. What is five plus five. six? Five. We could just. Here's what I found. Hold up a finger, <laughs> Mr. Lang. What is five plus six? The answer is 11. 11. 11. She won 11. Wait, but is that what it, the question's asking? Does it want the total or the last amount? I don't know. I don't know. Let's find out. Let's know. find out. How many Grammys has Beyonce won? Oh. That means in her whole life, from the time that she was born in Houston, Texas. Oh, man. I would have gotten that question now. wrong. I guess I would have too. You know why? I would have. I would have. said five and I said six. I would have right? read it. Mm -hmm. And I found the answer. I would have stopped. I would have put it down. That's a choice. Because isn't it? really, these these um, reading passages, it's it's really a race, right? You want to be the first one done in your whole class. I like to be. Yeah, but, but that's a bad is, strategy. Is that you a, shouldn't. It's not a good idea. No, no, no. You don't want to be the first one done. Oh, um, I thought you get extra points for finishing first. No, no, no. I then didn't you know that. Sit there bored. Oh, well, okay. I usually like to try to make a lot of noise. Try to hurry and everyone else. Go to the bathroom for yes. like 15 minutes? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Don't do that. All right. So the answer, I think, is 11. 11. By the way, look at that one. Millions. Millions. So that's not plausible. Get that right. out of here. Yeah. Six is a possibility. Five is a possibility. It, just, it seems like this one actually has two good answers. It does. But 11 is but the But they're best. not correct. It's 11. All right. All right. Here's a hard one. Okay. Okay. Uh, which of the following following words best describes Beyonce? Words? So I want to pick more than one? Well, it says which. So, so there that's are, only there one. There are four that follow. Right. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Right. And and it won't let you pick more than one. Okay. Right? Well, it said words, so I just I wanted know. to double I know. check. I know. I know. Now, um, I, think, I, think, I think it's, a time, it's time to be a little bit honest. Okay. There might be some words that you do not know. Right, and your English teachers cannot teach you every single word in the English language. It's true. Right? It's true. So. Okay. So what I was saying is sometimes you just might have to guess, right? And maybe maybe eliminate one or two and you, you might have a 50-50 chance, okay. right? And that's, 
I would say so. 50-50 is better than 25%, right? One out of True. four, right? Okay. True. True. So, well, let's do a couple things first before we just go, oh, God, I don't know any of them. Click. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. If you don't know the words, mm -hmm. can we find any of those words in the passage above? So let's think and try to rememberize the rememberize. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> let's try to memorize Review, right? the four. Recollect. Okay. Indifferent, successful. Successful. Timid, timid, humble, humble, indifferent, successful, timid, humble. Let's go scan. Ah, who oh keeps calling goodness. me? My goodness. Okay, so I'm what, trying to record a his, video. His, and now the bells and the are bells. ringing. Oh my goodness. Let's go. Okay, you got the four words. Indifferent, successful, timid, humble. Yes, yeah, got let's it. go up got to it. the passage okay. and just skim it real just quick. Just for those four words? Just or? for those four words. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Timid, successful. Oh, 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 I see the word success. success. Hey. So if there's success. By the way, how do you spell success? S-U-C-C-E-S-S. -E -S. That's the way you spell success. You learned the same one. It's Did we have the same sixth grade teacher? It's a cheer. S-U-C-C-E-S-S. -E -S. That's the way you spell success. There's the word success. Remind me, we'll do a video where I can sing all the prepositions for you too. We'll teach you. Oh, that would be fun. Okay. Can't wait. Focus. Okay. Beyonce works really hard for her success. So could she be successful? Full Possibly. of success? I don't know. I don't know those other words. So indifferent. I know different, but I don't know. I don't know indifferent. Okay. Well, wait. Let's right? let's skim. Hold okay. on. All right. Do so you so see... far, I mean, since, I mean. I don't know any of those words. Yeah, but we haven't skimmed. Right. Do we see okay. humble? I see different. Okay. I see different. different. So hold on. Okay. Beyonce uses many different styles of music. So she's indifferent. No. Because mm. you, if you add the prefix I-N, mm -hmm. it changes the word. Okay. Okay. So you can't say that Beyonce is different. That's not what it's asking. She works really hard for her success, so she has success. Correct. Yeah, but, but we I don't, don't have the word indifferent. Yeah. We have the word different. They're mm. two separate okay. They have two separate meetings. All right. Okay? okay. So don't get trapped there. All right. I won't. All right. Uh, um, timid, timid. Timid. And what was the other one? Humble, right? Humble. Humble. Let's look at the fast facts. I don't think the facts will really tell us anything about her personality. It's true. They might, but I don't think they will. They don't. They're factual. I don't see either one of those. Yeah, it's just all things that she's done. Okay, so right. let's go to the question. So we might Here. we might toss out the first two and just have to make a, a guess. Correct. Is she successful or is she indifferent? Now I'm going to say one more thing though. Okay. Um, if you look at the the title, the world's most powerful female mm -hmm. musician. Now, honestly, I think most people watching this do know what successful means. Okay. Okay. Um, and so assuming that you do know what successful means, she, she has a lot of fame. She has a lot of fortune. She has 11 a lot of money. Grammys. Right. I mean, come on. I think we are going to go with successful, even if we don't know what indifferent means. Yes. Now, do you, do you want to know what indifferent means? I, I would love to. Because I don't care. I don't care what indifferent means. No, but it might be on another test sometime. I, I, and here's why you learn words. Can I just... Okay, stop. I, I don't care what I need to means. talk to you right now. I'm going to tell you a tip for... Stop talking. I'm going to tell you a tip for the real world. When you are out at a party and there is a guy or a girl you like, <clears throat> and if they say a word that you don't know, you don't want to look stupid because guys don't like dumb girls and girls don't like dumb guys. So learn vocabulary. Okay, I'm done. Tell me what, oh, 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 oh what sorry. Have, what have you done? I got so excited, I right. right click. That's all right. Please tell me what indifferent is, because if I'm at a party, I really want to know how to use the word indifferent so I can make conversation. I don't care. You should care. I don't care. But you should care because I don't care. it's my social life that we're I'm talking indifferent. about. I'm indifferent. Oh! Uh, oh! So indifferent means that you don't care. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Okay, I got Ap that. Another word similar, apathetic. 
apathetic. Whatever. A- as- ask me later. I'll, I'll write it down for you. Whatever. You I'm indifferent. Do you want to find that boy and boy or girl at the party? Okay. Hey, timid? timid. Timid. Now, if you speak Spanish, you have an advantage. Timid is timida, timido. Meaning shy. Shy, shy. shy. Okay. Looking at my shoes. Okay. And humble? Humble means that you... I'm simply the best. No. no. I'm better than all the rest. Oh, you, know, you, you want to hear another song? Yes. When you see my face, there's not a thing that you would change. Because I'm amazing. No, it's your just amazing. Just the way I am. That is not humble. And when I smile. <laughs> okay, stop. Humble means not that. That you are. Because I'm amazing. I don't. Seriously, give me a synonym for humble. The way I am. Like, you're not full of yourself. But what is a. Humble. I'm not that great. No, it's not I'm that. not that great. It's that you're grateful. But not people that you're say, not confident. But people, people say, ah, oh, you're, Miss Rogers, you're just the best literacy coach ever. And oh. you say, oh, no, no. don't thank, say that. No, I say thank you, but I, I appreciate what you said. I, I still feel like I have a lot of I've, to I've, do, I have a lot more to learn. Yeah. Okay. That's being humble. That's humble. So okay. not my, my song was not humble. No. No. Okay. The opposite. I was uh, arrogant. A bit. Er- arrogante in Espanol. Right. Proud. Yes. All right. Speaking of. Okay. We should well, be proud we finished this video. Yes. Part yes. Two. And, there, and there was singing too. Yes. Was, lots of it. Very special. All right. How do I turn the, this thing off? I've already forgotten. Now, there we go. Okay. It's been a whole weekend, you know. Goodbye. Whoa. 31 minutes.